And then he was eight meters. And then he discovered that the wall outside was ten and a half meters in height. So the people in the valley would never see the tomb. And I think or believe it's human nature. But the second step went perfectly well. He said the third or fourth till he reached the five below unequal. Okay, dokie. Fine dandy. Oh, nice picture. Okay, dokie. What's your name? Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you ready?
When he was uh, 104, and he had, yes, and he had, uh, he died, sorry, 96, sorry, 96 years, I'm thinking about the children, and he had 280 children, boys and girls. His principal was... Wait, concentrate with us because I'll ask them that. Take a chance. Okay. See the color of paradise for Muslims. So mostly they use green and blue. Yeah. You see to the right, the black rock. Seems the owner of the place, you know, went to Mecca, so they he painted the black rock on the facade of his house.
trodden at the foot of his Lord. So faithful, so vigilant, so near him that he gave me his face for my own. I am a Pharaoh's companion, and I am he, the Pharaoh. Through the ages, I received many names from the people who came to me in adoration. for his father Cheops. Kephron built his pyramid on a slightly smaller scale, each side of the base measuring 710 feet, the angle being 52 degrees, it reaches a height of 445 feet. The brilliant covering of polished limestone on the apex originally extended over all four sides, adding to the magnificence of the pyramid. and powerful was Memphis, the capital city in the plain which joined Upper and Lower Egypt. Great and powerful were the pharaohs who on this side of the Nile built for eternity. Its aim accomplished, the fourth dynasty collapsed. Cheops, Kephron, and Mykerinus still reign, bearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. They reign over their court, buried round them. Over these small pyramids where their queens lie, over the tombs of their ministers, over the whole hierarchy, sleeping forever. Chamberlains, high priests, buffoons, architects, courtesans, each in his proper place in these funerary chambers which are called Mastabas. For this is a royal palace of the dead, with triumphal perspectives, pavilions, corridors, secret rooms, strong walls. It was a city of another world, approachable by the people only as near as the outer temples where their devotion led them. Coming from the Nile, one a second. And so to save his life.